I guess it wasn't long before P.D. Jacobs started to shun all my advances. I started testing the other waters, but nothing else would quench my thirst. What did I know? I was just a 16-year-old girl. Hey folks, it's Grimwit from Natch Evil. We're playing High School Dreams, Best Friends Forever, and I'm going to try and waste as little of your time as possible because that's what today's episode turned into while I was recording. Now let's go talk to Petey. Here, I got you a gift. Petey's relationship has suddenly turned into just gift-giving, so I bought a whole bunch of stuff that he likes, I, I guess. That's awesome. Thank you. Yeah, better be awesome, Petey. Jesus. If you can't tell, I'm kind of irritated, and the reason I'm irritated is because I'm at a loss. Uh, I've hit a dead end with Petey's relationship, so have taken to turning to other of the romantic candidates and none of them none of them are as good as Petey so I'm just kind of pissed off I can't seem to get Petey to ask me to the prom or something <sighs> so what's next I heard that Eugene's planning something big that explains why he's on the computers 24-7 computers is that what the kids these days are talking about with their memes and their Lloyd Bridges let's go ice skating because, fuck, why not? Look, ice skating is all fun and everything. It's, I mean, hell, I don't even have to tell you how to do this. It's all pretty much right there. So let me talk a little bit about P.D. Jacobs. The reason I did P.D. Jacobs is because I watched uh, the original Let's Play of the High School Dreams Best Friends Forever by uh, Dyslexic and uh, uh, Approximate Chocolates. And... They didn't cover P.D. Jacobs. Well, they did cover, but they ran into pretty much the same problem that I have, which is to say that you get... <laughs> move it, bitch. You get to the point where P.D. loves you, I, I guess. I'm assuming that's love, or high school kind of love. And then nothing. I, I can't figure it. So I looked at... Uh, there, I, I took a closer look at Dyslexic's video... And he never actually gets Petey to ask him to the prom. Or at least he doesn't record how he did it. What he does record is that he can't. He, he runs into the same problem, and then right after that he goes through a montage of all of the proms that you can have. That's right, all of them. There are all the proms. And one of them just happens to be Petey Jacob. And that's awesome, but how do I do that? Me? What about me? Where can I get some PD action? I want a piece of that ass. I'm so good at ice skating. Especially when all the uh, buttons are the same thing, double tapped. I guess that's cool. So, I, I don't know. I didn't know what to do. There's, there's no progression. There's no story progression. It's just sort of done. How'd we do? Oh, I got a hundred bucks for ice skating. Cool. Here, I got you a gift. You know, it's so glad to know that we can just win a man's heart through... That's awesome. Thank you. Here, I got you a gift. Through material needs. I mean... That, that is the, the moral of the story, right? Give boys gifts and they'll, like, love you. Or lust for you. Buy lust. That's awesome. Thank you. All right. Incoming fan service. Oh, yeah. I need something long and phallic-shaped mm -hmm. for my mouth. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, I don't think we've ever been in here and, uh, ooh, a fridge magnet. Fridge magnets are cool. 
Um, where the fuck did that gazebo go? Where am I? Also, I don't know if I showed this off. Uh, this is a fortune teller, I guess. Thank you, fortune teller. You're just as useful as a fortune cookie. And you tell as many fortunes? Yeah, that sounds about right. Uh. <laughs> uh oh. Yeah, sure. Let's go on a date with Chuck Majors. That sounds like a really great idea. And I'm gonna try and trash this date, because I don't fucking care about Chuck Majors. Hey, Chuck. You didn't call me Chuck Majors. Oh. I kind of figured you knew your last name. No, you've done it for a while. It's like that's your pet name for me. I figured your pet name should be Slave. Look <laughs> at that face! But it's your real name. Enough about you, Mr. Conceited. Tell me how I look. You look fine. Fine? Can't think of any better <laughs> adjectives? Amazing, maybe? Really pretty? Whatever. Are those for me? Yeah, they're for you. I'd keep them, but I feel really uncomfortable holding them. Here's that world-famous vocabulary, Chuck Majors. Ooh, flowers. Thank you. They're beautiful. Thanks. I had to get them in a hurry. Why? Was the florist closing? No, my neighbor was chasing me out of his yard with his garden shears. It's not like he had a sign saying, do not cut roses. Keeping it classy, Chuck. Keeping it classy. Ah. Uh, hmm. Okay, the, the girly thing to do here would be to dig for dirt. So is this where you bring all your dates? Yeah. I mean, no. What is it? Yes or no? What do you mean? It's not a hard question, is it? No, not really. I just don't want to get into... Okay, I have come here before, but it hasn't been in a while. Oh, that makes everything better. Actually, I... I'm really having trouble caring. Uh, let's just get it over with. Ready for some gelato? I was hoping you'd say that. Why? Getting some gelato is more important than having a conversation with me? Uh, no, that's not it at all. Then what were you saying? Just uh, that some gelato would make this this already enjoyable experience that much more enjoyable. Just testing you. Good news. You passed. I think the strategy here is to twist Chuck Majors into a knot of awkwardness until all his blood just leaks out his feet. That would be that would actually be pretty badass. I'm all for that. Let's do it. You weren't lying, were you? You really do like gelato. I'd fuck your grandmother for gelato. That's how much I love it. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. What can I say? I'm a pretty talented chick. I'm beginning to see that. I don't know if you've got this talent, but our cheerleading squad is looking for someone to step in. Why? What happened? They had this girl named Carla who was supposed to be the top of the pyramid. Yeah? So this one day, they throw her up to do the finale. Uh-huh. Fucking cheerleading? And I guess they threw her up too fast or something, and she swallowed a wasp. What? What? Yeah, so the wasp panics and stings her inside her cheek. The wasp panicked, but she didn't? Oh no, she did plenty of panicking too. The girls couldn't hold her up and she ended up falling. Broke her leg. That's horrible. Is she okay? The wasp is fine, but she's not. Her leg was broken pretty bad. So that means a spot is open. Yeah. Be like trying out? For God's sake, who cares about cheerleaders? Sorry, Chuck Majors. I'm not the rah rah kind of girl. That sucks. They could really use someone. If you change your mind, though, go see Chelsea. She's really trying hard to fill that spot. Aw, oh, I lost some points with Chuck Majors. Aw, oh, that sucks. I just spilled some on my pants. You're just lucky it wasn't hot coffee. I don't even want to imagine that one. Don't worry, gelato doesn't stain. But you'll have to take your pants off to really get the spot out. Right here? No, Chuck, not right here. Why don't you give the bathroom a shot? Oh, good idea. How do girls know all this stuff? We just do. Now hurry, those pants can still be saved. Chuck Majors, the character who's supposed to prove that not all jocks are dumb, is proving that all jocks... 
Well, just him, really. Anyway. Waiting is happening. Hey, I got a message. Um. Um. Benny, what are you doing? Benny, why do you have some guy's pants? Benny, stop! Meanwhile... Oh. How do we know this? Psychic powers, I guess. Um... Let's get him pants. <laughs> this is a couple of remarkable things about this particular uh, event, mission. Uh, I think it's unique. First off... How can I help you? I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but I think this is the only event that has a timer. That particular timer in the top left. Hello. I'm here to pick up a pair of pants for a friend. Oh, good. But there's a problem. I have two pairs, and I don't remember which one your friend wanted. What are my options? One is a pair of white and blue patent shorts, and the other are plain jeans. Not... not sure... uh... I'll take the jeans, even if they are plain. Okay, here you go. Please come again. Thanks. Did Chuck order these on his way to the bathroom? Huh. Remember to wash in cold water so they don't shrink. Wash in hot water, got it. Alright, now, um, we got a message. I know the time is ticking down as we get this message. Oh yeah, thanks Chuck Majors, you fucking wasted my time and yours, really. <laughs> I'm... <laughs> How do you get your pants stolen? How do you get your pants stolen? How did... I just... I don't even know, and it happened so fast, uh, and he's just standing out here. Still haven't been able to find any pants. Do you have any? Thank you so much. I felt like such an idiot. I had a good time today. Yeah, me too. What would you say if I asked you out again? That all depends. On what? Whether or not you stop speaking in the third person. Chuck Majors promises to cut down on his third person habits. Good. Hey! Don't worry, I was just kidding. Here. I got you a little something. Oh, thanks! It's a bathroom magnet! Awesome! You're the best, Chuck Majors! Ah! Uh, <laughs> what is it? What, what did he get me? As far as I can tell, he got me... a magnet for a gelato. Classy. Betty stole it. Hello! Hey, I don't suppose you could help me with a survey, could you? There's thirty dollars in it for you. Sure, why not? Great. I just need you to ask a few of your fellow students what their favorite movies are. Eyes over here. Can't believe I'm saying this. <laughs> what the fuck just happened? Oh. Huh. Ooh. Whatever. Let's, uh... Let's fast forward a little bit. There's a guy over there with a surprised look on his face. Chuck totally broke up with Chelsea Harbour. He said he's done with cheerleader types. Huh. Look out all you bookish girls, then. I... I guess. Who... who cares? Hey, we got a message. It's from Emily. Oh. Girl talk. No, this is cool. Emily. Hey, Emily. I got your message. Ooh, I'm dying to hear about your date. How about we go get coffee? Coffee. Yeah, all right. Okay, but why do you seem more happy than I do? Do kids like coffee? Here we are. So, you finally gonna tell me all the juicy details? There wasn't much to it, although I guess it was effective. Well, it started off a bit sweet and sour. How do you mean? He got me a gorgeous bouquet of flowers. That was nice of him, so where's the sour? He pinched them from his neighbor's garden. <laughs> Yikes! That's boys for you. Wouldn't know romance if they walked into it. What?! On the bright side, it's the thought that counts. What happened next? We had gelato and talked. He thinks I should join the cheerleading squad. What do you think? If you want to get close to him, that might be a good idea. There's nothing more flattering than having your own personal cheerleader. 
Unless, of course, it happens to be Chelsea Harper. Why do you say that? Although Chelsea was Chuck's girlfriend, she didn't hide the fact that the only one she ever cheered for was herself. There's only one number one in Chelsea's book, and that's Chelsea. She really doesn't sound very nice. It doesn't help that she's the head cheerleader. If you want to join the squad, you'll have to go through her. Did you guys talk about anything else? Not really. Our date was interrupted as he spilt gelato on his pants. You won't believe what happened after that. Tell me, tell me, tell me! Well, I will tell you that a rooster was involved and there was lube. After spilling his gelato on his pants, he went into the bathroom to get himself cleaned up. I'm sitting there all alone with my gelato, waiting. And then, I get a message. Someone stole his pants. How does that happen? I felt like I was dating a six-year-old. Talk about embarrassing. Oh boy, that does sound awkward. You'd think a guy his age can look after his own pants. <laughs> it sounds like an accident waiting to happen. Exactly. I really enjoyed listening to your story. I'm sorry it didn't work out so well. I need to get back now, though. Let's do this again sometime. Totally. See you later. Back where, Emily? You know, I actually know a, a lot of six-year-olds that are able to keep hold of their pants. And these guys. What are you guys talking about? Landon hates when people stare at him. Correction. He likes it, but not by people he doesn't know. If you want to talk to Landon, you may want to change how you dress. He's pretty picky about that. <laughs> what a bunch of assholes. Ugh. What are you, one of America's fashion runway rejects? We're after a DJ. We don't have time for three guys just stroking each other off outside the schoolyard. Or on the schoolyard. Wait, is that illegal? Hmm. Okay, check this out. That's as full as a heart meter can get. He, he can't get more hearted. That nothing you're working on sounds pretty sick. Thanks. And yet there's nothing I can do. There's... There's nowhere else I can go with this relationship. What's next? What do I do? Hi. Could you use some help with your flowers? I do need someone to help me plant the flower beds near the fountain, if you're interested. Liz felt the soft crush of petals under her fingers while she continued to molest the flower bed. Each pinch was sensual, shooting images of soft pink nipples through her mind. That night, she would celebrate with unbridled self-caressing, but under her sweat-soaked sheets she would wonder, would she find love? You did a really nice job. Here's a small thank you for your hard work. Dude, it wasn't just nice, it was fucking sexy. Now look at that flower bed and masturbate. <laughs> Why, hello, young lady. Listen, a little girl lost a stuffed bear in the park. Do you think you could help me look for it? This is getting looter by the moment. Of course we'll do it. Stuffed bear? Oh, at first I thought you were gonna say real bear. In that case, sure. I'll help. Great. It's got to be in the park somewhere. You guys seen that uh, novel f from Canada called Bear? Hmm. Just, just saying. While we're here, let's go ahead and flip a coin in the well, because I got nothing else to do. Literally. I really wish people would start noticing me more. I don't even know what that's going to help with. Good news! I found the bear! Wow! Thank you so much! She's gonna be so happy! I'm glad. I used to lose my toys all the time, too. Thanks again. Take this for your trouble. I hate how the park ranger sort of talks to us like we're five. Wow! You're so nice! Hi! What's wrong? I've, like, lost my necklace. Can you, like, help me find it? We've done this before, and honestly, lady, you're not the first. Unfortunately, no. I'm a little busy right now. Oh, well, it's not like you're a necklace. Not yet. Hey! A fridge magnet. I can finally pick this one up. You there. 
One of your classmates has hidden my books. Find them and bring them to me. Yeah, no, we're not doing this again. Wish I could, but I'm late for class. Bye! Oh my gosh, so I just went to go talk to that Landon guy, and his friends just totally killed me off. That doesn't surprise me. You've got to be a certain level to talk to those idiots. Are you at their level? Of course I am. And do you talk to them? Of course I do. Doesn't mean they're not idiots. But he's sort of cute. Who? Landon? Yeah. And if I can't get a chance to talk to him, should I just forget about it? Listen, these are boys we're dealing with. All you have to do is find the weakest link and start working on them. I really wish I could get out of this conversation. You guys have no idea. Eject. Abort. Get out of here. How do I know who that is? Didn't you just meet a bunch of them? Yeah, but... Don't be like that. They're keeping you from Landon. But they're not keeping you from themselves. Give them a little attention, and those little boys won't know what to do. That sounds real... devious. I know. Don't you just love it? I already know someone in the circle, though, so that will make your job a little easier. Who? Her name is Madison. Oh, a girl? You think I'd let one of his pets get their hands on you? Maybe if they offered for me to get my hair done, but certainly not for free. What? Girl, I'm just kidding. Madison is Landon's twin sister, so she's as close to him as you're going to get. And is that a good thing? I don't consider anything in that crowd to be good, but you can make your own decisions about that. Will you introduce me? Probably best if you were to handle that on your own. She hangs out in the library if you want to try and find her there. Sure. I'll get right the fuck on that, Emily. I don't understand Benny's reputation. He's not even that funny. You obviously haven't seen what he did to your locker. Well, that's it. When I say this is a wasted episode, I... I guess we did some things. We did finally get maxed out on PD love if Ooh. I can do anything with that. Next episode I'm honestly just going to focus entirely on PD and see what the hell I need to do next. Um, if you guys know what I'm missing drop a line, please. I want to finish this whole love affair with PD. Get him to the prom. Get him into bed. Get knives into him. Wait, what did I say? No. Uh, goodnight.